Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, give a scenario where inheritance is used in your Selenium automation framework. Let me practically show you this. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where I have this framework that I have created earlier. Okay, in this framework, if I come to this SRC test Java section, so here is a place I have implemented the inheritance concept in this automation framework. Okay. So first I will open this login test.java, this register test.java and search test.java. Okay. This login test.java has a test ng test methods. Okay. Has the test ng test methods for login functionality. You see, login verify login with valid credentials is one test method. Okay. Verify login with invalid credentials is another test method. Verify login with valid email and invalid password and so on. Okay. And similarly, register test. Java has its own test methods related to the register functionality here. You see, verify registering an account with mandatory fields. Verify registering account by providing all fields. Verify registering account with existing email address and so on. Similarly, search test.java has its own test methods related to such functionality. Verify search with valid product. Verify search with invalid product. Verify search without any products. These, these files having the individual test methods of the individual functionalities are inheriting the one class known as base class. You see, login test is extends base means login test is a child class of the base class. Here, register test is also the child class of the base class. Search test is also inheriting the base class. Okay, here base is a parent and search test is a child. So why we why we are in uh, making this login test, register test, and search test classes inherit this base class? Because you see, um, I'm going to show you. Let me open the base class. Uh, this base class has a constructor here. Okay, this is a constructor of the base class. The name of the constructor is same as the name of the class. Okay, there's a constructor, and uh, here one method is there: initialize browser and open application. There are there is one constructor and one method. So these things are inherited. Okay, this constructor is inherited, and this uh, method is inherited by this uh, child classes. Okay, how I'm going to show you. So what I'm going to do in the beginning is once I create the class here, I'm creating the in the login test child class. I'm creating a constructor here. Login test, login test, it's matching. And here we are calling the super class constructor. That is a base class constructor is being called. Okay. Whenever you create an object for the login test, automatically the constructor will be called. This constructor is automatically calling the parent class constructor. This is a base class constructor because of which, since the base class constructor is indirectly called. Okay. What's happening here? The properties file is getting loaded here. Okay. We are loading the properties file. In my framework, I'm loading the properties file. Okay. So that's being done automatically, you see, just by creating this constructor and calling the super class constructor, the properties uh, file is being loaded here. The properties file is being loaded, okay? In every restart test also, same constructor is there. This constructor is calling the super class constructor and the uh, super class, class constructor is loading the properties file, okay? So even search also the same thing, super class constructor and it's loading the it's loading the properties file. Okay. Super class constructor is loading the, this base is a super class constructor from the parent class is loading the properties file. Once the properties file is loaded, you can all access all the things, uh, access the things from the properties file. You see what is there in the properties file? Like this invalid password, e e email password, all this or config dot properties, I guess this is the one. Okay. URL browser name, email password. These are coming from the properties file. Okay. After the properties file is loaded, then only this, uh, Child classes can access prop dot get property browser name like this. They can access okay for that properties file to be loaded. And this one advantage of the inheritance that is possible in this uh, framework. And other place uh, where in inheritance is coming to use is, uh, for example, in this base class, there's one more method, right? Initialize browser and open application URL. Okay. So in the setup uh, method, okay, the setup method, which will be this method will be executed before every test method. In such method, we are Initializing the browser and opening the application. This method is directly being called. How this is possible? Okay, this particular method is part of the base class and is being directly called. We are not creating an object for the base class, right? Or with the help of base class, base dot, we are not doing anything. Rather, directly we are calling. How this is possible? Because this method is already implemented in the base class and base class is the parent of the login test, register test, and such test. Hence, you can call this method directly. Okay, this method is inherited from the base class. That's why I'm able to call it directly. But why we have to go for inheritance? Here, if I don't uh, go for inheritance, what will happen? In this case, what will happen? This method need to be, this logic or code need to be written in every class. Okay? The code for initializing the browser and opening the application URL should be written inside the login test, should be written inside the register test, should be written inside the search test. In the three places we have to write, instead of repeating the code, what we are doing simply is, 
I'm simply creating a method inside the parent class. And this method I'm directly calling by making this uh, classes the child class of the base class. These are advantage of the inheritance where uh, duplication of the code can be reduced. If the same code is part of the multiple classes, then you can create a parent class and move this uh, common code of this uh, child classes to the parent class, okay? You don't have to repeat this code in every class, rather you move it to the parent class. And this is the advantage of the inheritance. This is the place in my framework we have, where I have implemented the inheritance, okay? Base is the parent class and login test, restart test, such as the child class of the base class. So hope guys, you got the example or scenario where I have used the inheritance in my framework, in my Selenium automation framework. You can also give the same answer in the interview if you come across such kind of question in the interviews. So, so that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.